Roxy here and we are talking Gibson 335s. Of course I have a wall of Les Pauls behind me. Oddly enough, the history of the 335, there is a correlation between the Les Paul guitar and the 335. This guitar was actually what Les Paul envisioned when he was first designing a solid body or semi hollow body electric guitar. And you can sort of see the roots in this guitar with this other guitar that Les Paul first designed called the Log. And you guys are on the internet, so you can go check out Les Paul the Log and you'll see the similarities, which Les Paul eventually became the rock and roll guitar. But not to say that this is just an old man's guitar. No way. I'm playing this on tour right now with Alice Cooper. I play it with my own band, Roxy 77, and it rocks. It definitely complements a Les Paul or it stands on its own. It has a very full sound. This one in particular was hand-picked by the guys at Guitar Village. And you can see that it has a, I don't know if you can see in with the uh, finish, it's a bird's eye maple. Very uh, aesthetically beautiful guitar. It's got all the classic uh, sound and fullness of a, of a 335. It's got the 57 classic pickups in it. And the fact that it was hand-picked does make it original. All these guitars, you know, uh, that Gibson makes do have a certain quality, you know, and that's why I always say, if you do find a, a Gibson that sort of is gonna make you write that one riff, then, you know, buy that Gibson. Because everyone, even though they have uh, similar traits, similar design shapes, everyone has its own unique sort of hand rolled neck feel, and you got to find that Gibson that's right for you. And perhaps this one is. So again, this is the a 335 dot bird's eye maple um, rock and roll guitar, or if you want it just to hide your beer belly, you can do that as well. <laughs> Again, you can see me playing the 335 out on the road with Alice Cooper, and uh, hopefully I'll see you uh, playing one soon. See ya.